It's a hilariously dumb day in the world of Magic the Gathering. Wizards of the Coast is failing on every conceivable level. We've got problems with Phyrexia All Will Be One. We've got secret layer failure action. And as a cherry on the Sunday, Wizards said, why don't we aggravate all of our highest paying, most lucrative whales by giving them a terrible VIP experience? It's absolutely confusing. Founding Magic. I am a wizard. History. I'm an old wizard. The magic historian. My bones hurt. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, my friends. I hope the day finds you well. And if it doesn't already, having a chuckle at all the screw ups of a billion dollar company will probably cheer you right up because this is a hilarious edition of Wizards Does Everything Wrong. Normally, it's mega magic news. Today, it's mega fail news because everything we're gonna talk about is essentially a disaster. And I almost ran out of room writing it all down. Stuff just kept popping up. So we're gonna talk about problems with the complete bundle. We've got the VIP fiasco, which is a situation that's so big that I did a live stream on it yesterday covering all the details. So I'm gonna give you the short primed hilarious version of it at the end. We'll save that for dessert because what was this is done here is amazing. So where are we gonna start? You know what, let's start out with the complete bundles because those have made it out into people's hands. So we're starting to see the first wave of issues with them the discontent with the complete bundles all right so prices aside what's the deal with these these are the special oil slick versions right and if you haven't seen an oil slick version i'm gonna just toss a random oil slick card up on the screen there's definitely no specific reason that i've chosen this one and completely ignored that circled part of the card that is definitely a mistake so yeah, this is a pandrel. And take a look at this. They decided to add an extra mana to his activation ability. And of the uh, four printings of this card, this is the only printing this way. So you go ahead and you pay for the special edition of this box set, which costs more than a regular bundle, is the only place you can get this stuff. And they went, oops, we, we did the regular versions right, but we did, we, we did this one wrong. They keep hosing everything. So on top of having cards, this is the most premium version, uh, on top of having these cards coming out misprinted, people aren't even gonna know. You should be able to just read the card to play Magic, but quality has become such an issue that we're not living in that world anymore. Now, on a side note for the complete edition as well, they didn't include a spin down die in the bundle. Think about that for a second, man. A bundle always has a spin down. They make this special bundle. And like, oh, we didn't include the spin down. Now you can say, yep, they didn't, they, they marketed it that way. It didn't say on the packaging you were gonna get a spin down, but I've already seen multiple angry complaints from people like, bro, why is there no spin down in here? There's, <laughs> there's no excuse for there not being a spin down. Now, let's talk, let's talk some more about life counters. Let's talk about those special the special $75 edition Phyrexian spin down counters that they made. Oh, man. Okay, so do you guys know this one? They're LGS promotional products. Wizards of the Coast made them. They look pretty sweet, right? They're done in the Elish Norn style. They're the click, click, click. You can do them up to like 100 life for your fancy commander games and stuff like that. So how does the promotion work? This comes if you buy a complete bundle or if you spend like 75 US before taxes, then you get given one of these. So you're spending a big chunk of change. You'd figure they'd go out of their way to make sure that they weren't complete garbage, but guess what? There are multiple reports of people who have them where both sides are the same side. So it's made out of two right sides or two left sides. Essentially, one dial is upside down. So <laughs> like, if you look at the nine and the six, those two numbers will work just fine in reverse, but everything else, they literally assembled them wrong, bro. There's no excuse for any of this. QA, oh, this is one of my favorite things. This is one of my favorite things in terms of Wizards of the Coast ineptness. Talking about poor, cool, poor 
quality. So there's somebody out there by the name of Swamp Girl Magic. And she tagged me a bit back, but I just found it now because YouTube is a little bit tricky. But what I found was amazing. It's a video. Do you remember the heads I win, tails you lose? Of course you remember that. That's the secret layer that was in the news for like a year. For an entire year, people waited for this secret layer, right? And why were we waiting for this secret layer? Well, they had the magic cards that were part of it, but they also had their special little flippity bippity boo coin, right? And that was the thing that we were waiting on. They had to get the coin sorted out because production issues, whatever it is, I don't know if it's because they didn't need to make too many, it's deprioritized, but whatever it is, they kept delaying this deck over and over and over. And so people finally get this deck and it turns out this is a coin flipping deck that comes with a special coin. It comes with a special coin included for your special coin flipping deck. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if the special coin that came with your coin flipping deck just broke from being flipped? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be an interesting scenario where if you just flipped it like regular for what it was meant for, your special premium coin? Imagine just flipping it and it broke in half. Now, imagine when it broke in half that you realized, wait a minute, this coin, instead of being equally weighted and having an equal chance of landing on either side, it's a metal disc inside a bigger plastic disc. So you take a smaller metal piece and insert it into a bigger round plastic piece and that's how you get your coin. So it's not weighted properly, it breaks in half and you waited an entire extra year to get your product because of it. It's, it's emblematic of what Wizards of the Coast has become. It's absolutely incredible to me. Like I feel bad for the people who got this deck 100%, but I absolutely love the fact that they're so inept that it took them a year to get the product out. A year! They took people's money for a year and then they ruined the coins. The coin that they waited forever for coins that were garbage that aren't properly balanced. Amazing. Amazing. All right, so that's not everything. What else do we have? Oh, oh, here's a fun note. Magic 30. Guess what, guys? The boxes of Magic 30 are going out to the shops. It's been absolutely confirmed. Some stores in Canada have already received notification that they'll be arriving, and some stores in the States already have gotten their copies of the boxes, and there is a wide disparity in what stores are doing with it. Some are choosing to sell it, but others are doing exactly what Wizards of the Coast feared they would do and destroying it. There's footage out there of people cutting out the backs of the Black Lotus card and turning it into pins. That's what an LGS is doing. This is what Wizards of the Coast was afraid of, right? You'd have people either underselling it, destroying it to make a statement, and that's why they held off sending it out for so long to the point where I didn't think they were even gonna send it out. But Regardless, that's heading out to differing results and I just find it amazing that they send this out and people are like, yeah, no, you know what, snip, 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 snip. It just like, this is a thousand dollar product in their mind, but the market said, nah, nah, son, this ain't worth it. You could have had something if you didn't get too greedy. Magic 30 is all about being mega, mega greedy, right? They said, we're gonna celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Magic. And then they made this gold bordered proxy set. But don't worry, friends, this lazy, greedy, entitled way of doing things, it definitely wouldn't spill over to the Magic 30 Magic Con and turn into a disaster for the VIPs or anything, would it? I'm definitely not leading you into that exact scenario. Imagine, imagine you were like a billion dollar company and you're like, it's our 30th anniversary. It's time to celebrate. What are we gonna do? Let's make $700 VIP tickets. Okay, well, we better deliver a banger VIP experience. Now you'll recall that the previous VIP experience at the previous MagicCon actually included free boxes of Magic 30, right? And at the time, Wizards was saying those were worth $1,000. So you'd buy a $700 VIP pass, not knowing this, and get a $1,000 product, which just on the surface of it, sounds like a pretty sweet deal. And you go, okay, I mean, I can see what Wizards is doing. They're trying to keep their VIPs happy. Somebody who's willing to pay $700 American dollars for a pass to a convention? Like, that is a lot of money, right? We're talking in some cases, depending on your scenario, that's a month's rent or more, a couple months worth of groceries. That is a big ask, especially with what's going on in the world. So you figure, hey, go to your way to deliver a banger experience. And apparently 
of the VIP experience previously in Vegas wasn't quite so bad as the one that they got in Philadelphia. But it's cr not only is it a worse experience, but Wizards considered it a success. And then when they found out they did badly, the apology that they gave to everybody, oh, I'm, get I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna lay out the groundwork for you point by point, all right? I'm gonna give you the summarized version. If you wanna hear the full version, and it takes me a long time because I'm crying from laughter. What has happened to them is so funny. Their choices are so dumb. So here's the setting. It's the Magic Con. You have 350 people, roughly, who have bought these special mega super duper VIP passes. So you've got your VIP lounge. Now, what if I told you you paid $700 for a VIP pass and you showed up and the tables you sat down to play Magic at not only didn't have tablecloths, but there was literally like exposed screw heads and stuff sticking out of the table that you could scuff your cards up on. Imagine that was the night you came in, right? Yo, I show up on the first day, there's no tablecloths and you don't get tablecloths until Sunday, okay? That's the, <laughs> that's the kind of scenario that we're dealing with. So they pay, they pay these absurd prices to get into this event. You've got tables with no tablecloths, but don't worry, friends. They're gonna deliver when it comes to things like snacks, right? I mean, come on, bro. Free snacks for the VIPs. Guys, I want you to take a moment, picture in your head. You're somebody in charge of getting the snacks together. Or you can picture yourself as an attendee. What do you think a snack table looks like for 350 people who have paid 700 US dollars each? Just think about that. 350 people. Alakazam, take a look at what is exactly the right amount of food. This is, this is the snacks for 350 VIPs. VIPs, very into popcorns, I realize, is what VIP must stand for. I couldn't figure it out yesterday. It just dawned on me. Very into popcorns. Yo, 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 two pieces of popcorn each, please. We got to make sure everybody gets one. Now it's 18 of you to a chocolate bar. Like, what is this? It's $700, bro. It's $700. So they have a little bit more snacks that they bring out later. You can see those pictures over in the live stream, but it just progresses from there. They had a special promo that they gave out. You remember that, that Shivan Dragon that's holding the, the mountains? He's like, what's up, buddy? That Shivan Dragon, only 295 of them? Well, bad news. If you're a VIP hanging out in the VIP lounge, we don't give those out there. We literally don't give those out there. You have artists like John Avon who didn't even know about the VIP setup in the first place and had to go out of their way on their own to create a VIP setup for the VIPs. Like, almost everything was an absolute joke. They had like no real events for people except a dedicated, v a dedicated VIP event, right? And then they got a bunch of feedback. They were doing a terrible job. So they scrambled and sent out an email saying, hey, we're gonna do a special VIP draft for you guys. And then the time frame they set it in was the same time frame as the VIP sealed event. And when you went to go to the VIP lounge to play in the special event, they went, here's six booster packs. That's the equivalent of two drafts. It's up to all of you guys to figure it out. We're not running it for you. We're not doing anything for you. There are no prizes. Enjoy your VIP experience. Like, <laughs> there, there's more too. There's more. Oh, I forgot about the vouchers. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is another guess in your head game. Okay, so you, you got somebody, you're gonna send them down to the VIP lounge because it's like, we gotta make these people happy. We gotta give them something good. $20 food, food. Wow, that's probably pretty loud. $20 food vouchers. Let's do it. Now, for 350 people, how many food vouchers do you need? If you said 350, you suck at math. If you said 100, you're way overshooting. Wizards of the Coast knows what they're doing. So they went on down to the VIP lounge with somewhere between 8 to 10 of these $20 vouchers. So not only was that not enough for every VIP in attendance, but... It wasn't even enough for all the VIPs who were in the lounge at that moment. So they go into the VIP lounge and some of the VIPs get a $20 voucher and the other get told to cram thumbs because they're not getting nothing, son. Go pound sand, bro. You know what I mean? Like right in your face. And they could have emailed everybody a voucher. They emailed a bunch of people about that draft last minute, but they just went, eh, eight to 10 people, whatever. Now, there's a dude who compiled all this information. 
was it Christmas Metal? Something like that. I might be saying his name wrong, but he went out of his way to compile all of this stuff, right? And he went and actually talked to the employees there, and they said, "How's this going?" And then the employees of Wizards of the Coast said, "This convention is going better, according to the higher ups. All the metrics that they use to to measure the success of this event, this event is better than Vegas." And when as, when the employees were asked. Is customer satisfaction one of the metrics that you use to determine the success of this event? The answer was no. The customer satisfaction of the VIPs was not a relevant consideration for the for the event. For the event. So finally, after the event ends, and there's more, guys. Go check out the live stream. There's more. After the event ends, Wizards of the Coast finally gets word. Wait, it wasn't a it wasn't a grand success. Don't they know how much money we made by giving them all two pieces of popcorn? Like <laughs> so they find out, oh, they're unhappy? Oh, hold on. So they send off emails like, you know, we're very sorry to hear you had a terrible time and we're very grateful for the feedback. And so we have a lot of areas improvements. Here's all the areas we're going to improve. And to make it up for you, you can have 20% off your next VIP ticket. That's it. That's the only apology. Sorry that we gave you a miserable experience. The next miserable experience is 20% off. Are you dumb enough to double down is what they're asking. It's incredible. Absolutely amazing. But like I said, I did a whole live stream about it. It's like an hour and a half. It's a hilarious fun time. It's up on this channel. So link up on the screen. Go check it out if you want. If you want to hang out in a live stream today, I'll be doing one tonight over on my other YouTube channel, Hatcher. Thanks for being here, my friends. Big shout out to my patrons. And I will see you all either over in that live stream or in that live stream or in the next video. Goodbye for now.